all welcome to my youtube channel in this video let us discuss about funk keyword in c sharp so what is funk funk is a shorthand form for a delegate type which can accept any number of parameters but should return a value of any type so you can assume like func as the name says it's a kind of function that can accept any number of parameters and should return a value so the difference between action and func is action cannot return any value that's a void type func is func should return a value and when uh, we are declaring a func the type of the return value should be mentioned as the last parameter in the func declaration so if you see the example then you can easily understand so here we have created a func which accepts two integer values and returns a string so as the second point says the last value should be the or the last type should be the return type so here I have declared a func with the name add func and here we are calling the method that is I mean we are assigning the method that is defined in both. so if you see this syntax it looks a bit difficult to understand if you see this for the first time but if you divide this syntax into three parts then it is very easy to understand so this is a kind of normal declaration uh, like you would declare list of t or list of int something like that but it has two more types that we need to mention and after that based on the number of parameters so as per the second point as the last parameter or the type is uh, the return type so we need to ignore this when we are uh, writing the second part so here we are uh, we have two int and we need to write two parameter names here that is here and we can name anything and here we are passing that and uh, in the next line uh, it, it will do the same thing but the thing is uh, like here I have used anonymous method so to call these functions we are calling uh, them like this like add from one and two, one comma two and add from one one comma two and uh, this form func is a shorthand form for the delegate uh, like you might have seen my video about the action uh, where i have created the action uh, uh, I, I have shown an example with the delegate so uh, we can write the similar kind of logic for the func also so instead of func we can go with the delegates also but it's, it is very easy and more readable uh, form Uh, this is a console application that i have created so i uh, am writing a function that should sum two numbers and it should return uh, whether the sum is even or not or the odd or not so i'm writing some function here like so it needs to accept two numbers and the return a boolean value so that is my case so first accept int and later accept one more int and it should return a boolean value and i am naming my function as sum is sum odd written like this and this is the first part of the declaration and in the second part so it should accept two numbers so i am writing num1 and num2 and after that here i am writing a lambda expression and here i am using the anonymous function now here if num1 plus num2 percentage 2 equal to equal to 1 then it is odd so i am returning true or i am returning false the same you can write in a different function so when we need to 
go for this kind of thing like writing a different function other than the anonymous function so assume if you have a lot of code like very big code like maybe hundreds of lines of code then it's better to write a different function than the anonymous function so i'm writing a function here is some odd in number in here uh, i have written the same logic in inside a normal function so if i want to create a func and associate with that i can write something like So I can write something like this to call these functions. We can call something like console dot write line. I can call this function like this. and if we need to call uh, the other function just we need to copy the same and we need to write is some odd so if we execute the program it should give us the act ac accurate result Some screw. So, like the way that that you have seen in my previous example, that is action where I have passed uh, the action as a parameter to some other function. Here also you can pass this particular function to a different function as a parameter. So I am writing some sample function. And here I want to accept a function with syntax int int bool. And if I want to call this with one, two, three, I'm sorry, it should accept one. I can call this like this. So to call this function, I just simply need to call this sample, it should be static. Sample function and here you can pass that is some all of any of these two because this syntax matches with the syntax of this parameter. This uh, functions, I mean, this func keyword is also helpful in writing these kind of callbacks. So, uh, if you have a lot of logic here. Uh, and uh, if you want to call one callback like one function on success of something or uh, want to call a different function on, on failure of something you can pass those functions as parameters and you can call them so this is about the functions thank you